Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing PlayStation 5 news for some really big upcoming updates. We saw the PlayStation trademarks actually go get filed. And if you guys don't know when it comes to trademarks, you basically have to use it or you lose it. So we have some very, very interesting things on the way for the PlayStation 5 and also cool things in their ecosystem as well. So we'll be talking about that all throughout this video. And a really quick note before we dive in the video properly, thank you guys all so much for the love on the video with me and my mom earlier on. I'll maybe put a link on that down below if you guys want to check it out, the little Q&A for me and Mama Scrubby. And of course, as well, if any of you guys do celebrate or actually have some lovely mothers out there, we guys all had a fantastic Mother's Day. We had a very nice, relaxing day ourselves. So if you guys all also had a similar and also relaxing day out there. If any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on for the PS5 giveaway. It's going to be ending pretty soon. It should be ending like this next upcoming week as long as I'm not too lazy. As well, also, we do have the notifications on if you guys want to. Like the video if you guys enjoy. The Amazon link's down below for the PS5 disc and a digital if you guys want to go check and see. Twitter and Twitch stream link down below if you guys want to follow. And of course, Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Without further ado, let's go down to this actual video itself. So, as I mentioned, we actually had just brand new news that just came out earlier on today that PlayStation and Sony actually did go and file a very, very nice and unique PlayStation 5 thing when it comes to trademarks. This kind of comes back to also PlayStation 3 things, so we might be actually seeing some new features and new things being revived when it comes to PlayStation themselves. So, kind of cool. I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm going to go talk about this one. I use this up as a reference. We also have this over from Comic Book itself. And overall, just hope you guys had a really good day overall. So, basically with this, we do actually have a brand Brand new PlayStation 5 trademark that just got announced, as we mentioned before. A new PS5 trademark has now just recently surfaced and is making the rounds, even made its rounds over here, up here for Mother's Day. And for you guys out there who may have actually been PlayStation 3 fans, should be actually pretty excited. This is actually something I used myself back in the day in the PlayStation 3, so I'm pretty hyped up myself. So the new trademark itself is very specifically a renewal, and it revolves the PlayStation Home. So basically, if you guys don't know what that is, it was kind of like a really cool hangout system, good for get, like friends, doing things with friends, etc. Basically, just imagine like a Mi Hub, if you guys have ever had a Switch or Wii or whatever. It's kind of like that, but a little bit better because it's PlayStation. Yes, in 2021, Sony has renewed the PlayStation Home trademark. Now, as I mentioned before, too, trademarks for uh, renewals can be misleading for a few ways because basically that means that it might be a little bit more noteworthy or exciting, but also you also sometimes you usually have to use it or at least have something in the works or at least have something with that as well. You have to be doing something with it. So as I even kind of note in the article, to renew the PlayStation Home trademark, Sony has to prove it's doing something with the trademark. So basically they have to have like something in production, they want to be doing something with it, etc. And I think a lot of people would probably actually really appreciate having the PlayStation Home up on their consoles now, more so especially because we're still in a pandemic and this is nice to talk with friends, see what your friends are playing, and also joining in parties. And one major thing, if you guys remember the news from earlier on this week, maybe with Discord. Now... If they want to go and try to maintain the PlayStation Home trademark, they could try to go and interwork that as well with Discord, where maybe you could have like a little character mixed on in. You could walk towards them, join your friends' parties, and make it really easy to join either chat rooms, chat like actual voice chat rooms, or stuff like that. At least off the very, very quick like, thought process for me, that just seems like then make a lot of sense. So basically, if Sony, for some odd reason, cannot go and prove that they're doing something with the trademark, they're going to lose the trademark. So it's also that kind of how the article is saying it could just be protecting the trademark itself, and they can keep on doing this for the next five years, 10 years if they want. But it's also very, very interesting to go and see because they could also be doing something with that. That said, over time, kind of how we're saying, so they will need to do something with the PlayStation Home trademark. You will actually go and lose it. So does trademark mean that basically Sony's going to be reviving the IP? No, but kind of how I said before, and based on speculation, this is kind of intriguing because you just imagine they'd probably just go get rid of it if they're not going to be doing anything with it, at least just based on my assumption. And as I mentioned before, it was always a really nice social thing when it came to like the PlayStation 3, and it kind of made it easier for you to go interact with your friends, join games with your friends, etc. And as I mentioned too, something tied with Discord would be a really, really nice bonus feature to get to go and see. So basically now, for any of those who didn't know, PlayStation Home is a virtual 3D social sim developed by Sony Lundo, maybe London or Lundo, studio for the PlayStation 3 and PSN, development of the Surface and Game back in 2005 before it was released in open beta in 2008. 
and it never actually fully enough left open beta. <laughs> in fact, when it was shut down in March 2015, it was still somehow in beta seven years later. Now, I don't really know how that works on out, but the game industry is a very, very strange place at times. At the time of its closure, the Sims-like experience had over 41 million members. Though, of course, like some people aren't really that active, but they actually had them on there, which once again, I can see this being really kind of cool. And also, as the article even states, it's difficult to imagine the PlayStation Home being revived as a PlayStation 5 game, but it would be perfect for PlayStation VR 2, which we know is in the works with Sony. And of course, I would 100% agree with that too as well, because if you guys also know some very, very popular games when it comes to VR, such as VR chat and like those other types of social games overall, you can even go do things like, like rock, paper, scissors and stuff like that. You can play Connect 4 all through VR. So imagine... You have this really big social hub filled with a bunch of other people with like their me characters, PSVR or whatever. And you can kind of just basically go and have maybe local voice chat. How they have in P like, you know, VR chat, maybe have it tied in with discord, as I mentioned, for maybe just joining groups or seeing your friends, or maybe be able to go bounce into their games. Like maybe you go to the actual hub itself. You have a character model, like a sim model, and you see your friends playing call of duty. You go run towards them and somehow join their game just by walking your little me like character into it. Or things like maybe trying to join chat rooms or just have like an overall place to kind of just go and talk with your friends without actually playing a game. And that's actually something you guys can leave a comment down below. It's something I personally do a lot because a lot of the times, like if I'm just hanging out with my friends, sometimes I don't want to be playing a game. I'm just like, I just played games for three hours. I just want to sit on a Discord call and chill and talk with my boys and have a fun time. So it can also kind of go with that way. But very, very intriguing that we actually get to go and see Sony go and potentially do some more stuff mixed down in with this. I'm very, very intrigued to kind of see where this will go in the next few years. And as I mentioned, with them trying to be a little bit more on the social side, same with the PlayStation 5 app. Don't forget, they're also trying to push for that too as well. So maybe there could also be ties into which is maybe able to go text people, have a social hub, maybe have like even like, uh, if you guys are also remember Astro's Playroom, they also have individual rooms where you guys can go and store like PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 games, collectibles, like trophies or all that stuff. So I could also go and see that be an extension of Astro's Playroom where they basically can go and have like a, you have your own setup room with me's or whatever, and you can go and fill it up with games, your trophies, your platinum trophies, because we also know they've also been trying to go do copyrights with also that stuff when it comes to beating games and getting trophies in games and reworking the trophy system. So a lot of these things are kind of clicking in my head, especially with the Discord buys and everything else, that this could be really, really cool. And if they try to go and have some basis maybe off of VR chat and make it so you could have a central hub to hang out with people and show off cool things like Animal Crossing, this could actually be a really good thing for the PlayStation 5, especially if you guys are like me and back in PlayStation 3, you guys ever messed around with the PlayStation Home itself. So I just wanted to go do a quick little video on this. Hope you guys all sat back and enjoyed as i mentioned if you guys want to check out the q a with my mama i'll put a link down below definitely go subscribe if you guys are new or make sure you guys are subscribed for the i'm going ps5 giveaway thank you guys all so much for watching we have the amazon links down below for the ps5 disc and digitals twitter and twitch stream as well linked down below and of course the weeble sign up for weeble deposit 100 dollars you guys go get free stock free money coinbase you guys go buy 100 dollars worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin I appreciate you guys all so much for watching, existing, and chill. I'll see you guys up on the next one. Love you guys.